learn in wheelchair tennis should be the grip. Holding the racket against your wheel as you push can be difficult at first, but can be mastered with time. The correct grip should have the racket placed in the palm of your hand, slightly beneath the rim of the wheel. The thumb should clasp the rim of the wheel as the rest of your fingers push the racket into the wheel itself. Those with smaller hands should purchase a racket with a smaller handle. Thankfully, my hands are big enough to hold the racket and the rim at the same time. Notice that when I push, the racket stays rigid and firm. Be sure not to lose the racket while wheeling. Once you have mastered the grip, it is now time to get familiar with moving around the court. The single most important part of wheelchair tennis is the movement. Watch as I demonstrate the correct movement path the chair should make when moving in and out of the shot. Pay close attention to the turning. Notice how my momentum carries through every hit. Now, watch this upcoming shot. Notice how I turn into the shot. There are two reasons why I turn my wheelchair into this forehand shot. First of all, it generates more speed to the ball. And secondly, it allows me to carry my momentum into the next shot. Backhand turning is rather different to the forehand side. Watch as I turn away from the court. My left hand propels the turning as well. Notice that my head never loses the direction of the ball. Take a look at an incorrect example of moving around the court. Notice that I stop before I hit the ball. It is better to have your chair always moving. If your chair is stationary during a point, you are screwed. Here's another mistake that a player can make. An incorrect turn. This backhand I hit is totally wrong. Notice that I turned inward when hitting the backhand. If you were paying attention before, you would realize that I was supposed to turn outward. There have been many different types of grips to use for forehand over the years. These grips have evolved as well. Firstly, there is the continental grip. Up until 10 or 15 years ago, most able-bodied players use this for their grip. This continental grip is fairly basic and will not generate much topspin. Now, here is the semi-western forehand grip. This is the grip I use to hit the ball with. It generates a lot of topspin to the ball while also supplying sufficient power. Here's the most extreme grip, the western forehand. I honestly have no clue how wheelchair tennis players do this. This generates so much topspin, it's incomprehensible. Now, here comes the exciting part. Probably my best aspect of my tennis game is my forehand. As I mentioned before, the grip I use is the semi-western forehand. Watch as I give an example of the motion the racket swing should go through when hitting a ball. Always start the swing down low and then finish high. The racket swing should always end between your shoulder and your neck. Also when hitting, remember to turn your chair into the shot. Watch these examples of the forehand. Pay close attention to my swing.
Okay, let's break down the forehand. Watch how my chair moves into the ball. The racket, as you've seen before, starts low and finishes high. After I hit this shot, I will turn outward and continue pushing my chair until the opponent hits the ball back. An approach shot is when an opponent hits a short ball, usually near the net. When you see this ball, you want to charge the net and blast the ball past your opponent. You don't get a chance to do this very often, so you want to take advantage of it. As soon as you hit the ball, turn right around and get right back to the behind the baseline. I'm going to show you the two grips used for the backhand. First, there is the slice backhand. My hand holds the racket in such a way where the racket face points toward the opponent. For me, the slice backhand has always been a problem in terms of the grip. I am able to use it, but it is one of my weaker shots. Next is the top spin backhand. The racket face should be held towards the ground. Okay, here is the slice backhand. You want to make sure your elbow stays low. Your shoulders should be facing your opponent as well. Remember to make your swing level. It is usually best to hit the ball earlier than usual. Remember to start the shot high and make a U shape while swinging. Remember also not to chop at the ball. Here is an example. Notice that my chair is sideways. Watch my follow through. My head always stays with the shot. Hey, well that's pretty good, isn't it? The top spin backhand is one of the hardest shots to do in wheelchair tennis. Not only does it take great timing, but it also requires the player to have a lot of muscle. Remember to start the swing low and finish high. Watch the swing of the racket. Notice how my racket starts low and finishes high. Watch this example. I really hope you have learned a lot about wheelchair tennis. If you want to learn more about the history of the sport, go to www.tenniscanada.com. You can also check out rankings and player profiles. In closing, if you ever end up in a wheelchair, you know what sport you can turn to.